Hey guys, welcome to my review of Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. This is different to a lot of video game movies in the sense it doesn't suck, it isn't completely terrible. It's a kid's movie, which, you know, makes me a bit more hesitant to recommend it to people because I feel like a lot of the people who have played Sonic games back when they actually came out a lot will probably now be adults, so it's one of those things, how far will you go for nostalgia? But at the same time, I feel like it's one of those things that could be so successful that it could rejuvenate that franchise and make it so more games are made. I mean, there was a point where Sonic was basically Sega's equivalent of Mario, and there are a few references in this movie to what could potentially be a crossover with a Mario movie, which is something I'd love to see. I'd love Pixar to make it. It's a general story of you've got an outsider, but they do things differently. They're not completely unaware of how the modern world works because Sonic has basically been hiding around and pretending to... Well, he's, he's basically a stalker. You know, you see him under the stand and he's watching all the kids play baseball. It's actually a little disturbing. If they'd have used the old CGI model, it would have looked a lot worse. You don't give people brownie points for doing something really terrible than getting back to, you know, Factory 1 where it's not completely terrible. But it is nice that it made the effort to make Sonic look better. And if they hadn't, this movie would look worse. The cartoonish eyes really make the character more uh, empathetic and enjoyable. They make him seem like uh, a kid. Whereas the other one made him look like a bit of a disturbed teenager. And I think it's important to have that distinction between the two. Because here he's fairly cheeky and it comes off more a kid with a bit of sass. But not necessarily irritating. They don't go too far. There are a few far jokes. But I suppose, well, maybe that's all the rage with the kids these days. Short and sweet, this movie is good. The comedy is mostly funny. There are a few references to pop culture, and generally I do think Jim Carrey did a fantastic job as Mr. Robotnik. You see in Evolution, someone who's quite grounded in our world become more cartoonish. I think it's great how they did that. They were able to make it seem authentic. They do this thing which I think a lot of Marvel movies have done well, where they started with something grounded and they pushed it a bit more. So they sort of slowly, uh, brought someone into the idea of this is how it would look in the real world and then they push it a bit more over time when people are a bit more climatized to it which i think is very smart jim carrey brings a strange energy to this role the presence is more about the uh angry man child who never had any friends that, that, that's the sort of mindset he has and it's interesting how it plays out it is different it, it doesn't feel cliche but at the same time this movie isn't completely new either it's a bit of 50 50. It's a good movie, it's not great, it's memorable because it's a good movie that is a video game movie, but as another movie, as a normal movie, it'd probably be seen as about good to competent. Okay guys, so that's my opinion of Sonic Hedgehog the movie. I recommend if you like video game movies, maybe go see it. Hopefully we'll get some more good video game movies, otherwise I'd be hesitant unless you have a kid who you're trying to, you know, indoctrinate into liking video games. So if you like my video, maybe leave a like, who knows, maybe subscribe, tick the bell if you do, and tell me what you thought of the review in the video. And if there are any other movies that you think I should go and see now, please tell me and maybe I'll go see them. Okay guys, so if you like the video, there'll be some other videos up in a second and I'll see you next time.